Hey guys, it's Miguel here from Toy Quest 101, and on this episode of That Geek Statue Show, we're gonna be unboxing one of Iron Studios' first Marvel characters in their Unleashed line, the Mighty Thor. And that episode is gonna start right now. Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Now, like I mentioned before, we're gonna be unboxing one of Iron Studios' newest lines, and that is the Unleashed line. And on today's episode, we have the Thor Unleashed Deluxe 110 scale statue from our friends over at Iron Studios. Now, before we start, we wanna remind you guys to subscribe to Toy Quest 101, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any toy reviews, statue unboxings, or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now I'm really excited for this statue to unbox it here and review for you guys because when Iron Studios announced this in their Insider Showcase, this was probably one of the most popular characters and popular statue announcements that they had during the show and we have it here for you guys today to see what it's all about. Now as you know in 1962, the creators Jack Kirby and Stan Lee created Thor and he is one of the founding members of the Avengers. So I'm really pumped up to unbox this and see what it's all about. Now these deluxe Unleashed statues come with a lot of detail and I'm really excited to see that for myself. Now before we start, actually we're gonna talk about the box as always. Now the boxes are cool with Iron Studios, they're nice art boxes and as you can see, you see the statue in the front in the close up you see Mjolnir, and you see the entire Unleashed statue right here on the back of the box. The boxes are really cool, and they're all pretty much straightforward across the board when it comes to Iron Studios. But enough about that, let's get to unboxing it. Hey guys, welcome back and as you could see, Thor Unleashed is finally out of the box and on the turntable and I'm really pumped up because this is their Unleashed line, it's the deluxe statue, so it's just jam packed with a lot of details and as I took this out of the box and put it together, I just started seeing all these little things that I'm excited to talk about. For example, they have Throg here accompanying Thor, which I thought was really cool, which we'll get into a little bit. But this is a mixed media statue. As you can see, the cape is fabric. Now this is a 110 scale statue. It's about 11 inches tall. Uh, not that big, but like I said, these statues, man, Iron Studios does such a great job putting a lot of details into it that it would just look good in any display, especially if you're a Thor fan or an Avengers fan. But enough about that, let's get started. Now let's talk about the base. The base looks really cool, has a lot of details all the way around. It looks like it has some sort of Asgardian on it or maybe even Odin, but it looks really, really cool. A lot of details here, look, gives you that feel of Asgard. It has a lot of crushed rocks and, and uh, you know, it has some hieroglyphics here that look like they are from Asgard, which I thought was really cool. 
But the base is really cool. It does have a lot of details, so they didn't stray away from just having a doll base, which I really appreciated. Now let's talk about Thor himself, man. He is super, super, super clean. The details on his suit are absolutely amazing. The color uh, just pop out, and they did a really good job with him. Um, now the sculpt looks really good. You see he's very muscular here. Uh, you see all the details on the boots to make it look like it's fabric even though it's not. Uh, different colors here. You got your browns, your blacks, your reds, uh, which look really good. You got the, uh, the black uh, suit that's coming underneath, kind of waving out of his belt, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, his belt looks leather. You see all these big uh, buttons here, which are really, really cool. Part of his armored plate. And look at his helmet, man. They did a lot of details into his helmet, even though it's a small portrait. And his portrait looks really, really good as well. I'm really, really fascinated by how well it's done because it's so small for them to capture all those little details of the mighty Thor himself, the mighty Asgardian, and he just looks really good. His hair wraps around the back of his uh, cape, which is really cool. And now let's talk about the cape. Now the cape is mixed media. It does have two metal rods on the side, so you could go ahead and bend them and form the cape how you want it. Now I wanted to, the cape to kind of form to his left to kind of, you know, even out the stack and I think that really came out really good. Now, as part of the base and as part of this statue, you see some uh, water here on the back, which I thought was really cool. And you have Throg, which I absolutely love about this statue. Uh, very big surprise for me. Now, as you know, in Thor 364, the comic by Walt Simonson, Loki turned Thor into a frog and banished him to Earth. That was his first appearance where we got to know who Throg was. And here he is with the mighty Asgardian. You got two Thor characters in one statue. I mean, you cannot beat that. That is so cool. And I'm so happy that Iron Studios really paid attention to the details and really gave us something from the comics to enjoy. But this is really cool because this is one of the first statues I've ever seen with Thor and Throg together. And it just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, this statue is really cool, guys. Uh, I cannot speak more good about it because it's just, it looks nice. They really killed it. I really have no complaints. Now, the only thing it was super hard to get Throg on. I do recommend that you put Throg on first before you put Thor. Um, and just be very, very careful because he is a small piece and it is a small keyhole that wraps into, uh, you know, the rebel here and this uh, water feature here as well. But man, this looks absolutely amazing. Like I said, the colors look really, really good. The details, he just flows as well. Like his hair is flowing, the cape is flowing, the water features flowing, his suit is flowing here. I mean, everything just complements everything in the statue. And I think they really nailed this one. I'm really excited and really happy with this. And I look forward to the other Unleashed lines that Iron Studios is coming out with. They just announced the Cyclops Unleashed, which they did an amazing job with. And again, everybody went crazy in their Insider Showcase when the first X-Men came out for them, and that is Cyclops. So really cool, looking forward to that one as well. But enough about that. As you guys know, we are partnered up with Iron Studios, so there is a discount code on the in the in the bio of the video for you guys to use in Iron Studios. And if you want to get this bad boy, go ahead and order now. The links are in the bio of your video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, we'll see you on another episode of Story Quest 101, that geek statue show. Bye guys.